Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Complex. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Mecha Frame 5. Now this is actually the new series of robots that we previously reviewed, in which these here are the new two Mecha Frame 5s that recently came out. Today we'll be actually looking at KG, the blue version of the new Mecha Frame 5. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here's our box and as you can tell, this blue looking Mecha Frame, also known as KG, really cool looking. It's got a nice looking sword and it's almost like a cool looking scenic background there. Now on the back here, it kind of talks about a little bit more in detail. So it does show the exoskeleton itself and how it looks, the armor built on top of it. And then in addition, it does show on the bottom here that the head does rotate and the uh, headpiece does open up. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. So uh, everything's kind of nicely in package. Alright, so this here's our instruction manual and it's actually very nicely detailed. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and build this. Alright, so our KG is finally done and I have to admit this Mecha Frame 5 robot looks really cool. Now they got a lot of small details in it and the ability for it to maneuver while being able to like pose is pretty interesting. Now so like for instance I can actually move his arm up and I can swivel it to the front just like that. The previous ones did not do that so that's pretty nice that it does give you a bigger range of motion. In addition I mean it's pretty solid so like for instance it's balancing on one foot so you can do a lot of different poses with it and it's quite interesting on how they designed it. Now, in addition to that, the head itself does rotate, so you see like angle is head depending on which way ever way you want to pose them, and then the sword itself actually move as well. So it'd be quite interesting on how they designed this. Now, I really did enjoy this build. I think it's quite great, and the quality is really there. Now, if you have any questions about this little particular mecha frame, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.